I'm back again. I thought I was going to have trouble having enough videos for this vacation week. And no, I guess I've just spent a lot of time making journals. So I'm having more videos than normal. Anyway, um, my other little 4x4 mini journal sold in my Etsy shop. And I had so much fun making it. I thought I'd list another one for you guys since um, you seem to really enjoy it. And I thought maybe you'd like one done in a little bit of a different color scheme um, and a little bit of a different style. <clears throat> though it's pretty much still the same four by four three signatures this one only has 120 pages the other one had 144 but this one has 24 secret pocket pages throughout the whole book so that really adds to the bulk and that's why there's less i used this light pastel kind of geometric print paper and when i added the bird button in the eyelet for the closure I decided not to add anything else on the front for um, embellishment because I thought it was really minimalistic and simple and understated, yet really beautiful. It's a little wooden blue bird. And then there's three signatures stitched in with gold thread. And then I used this really pretty, like, kind of, I don't know, silver grayish with a gold button there. And then on the back, I stamped this Graphic 45 stamp that says Ready to Fly. So I kept it really simple and minimalistic. And you'll see inside it's kind of simple and minimalistic too because I didn't want it too fat. I wanted to make sure you had plenty of room to stuff those pockets with photos and receipts. And um, I kind of make this in mind for like a travel journal or a daily planner purse journal. Throw it in your purse. The closure keeps it sealed, keeps the pages protected, but you can put receipts in it. You can write notes. It has prompts. Um, it's kind of like a use it for anything type of a journal. Anyway, so we have an elastic closure here. And then this inside, my boys are loud and crazy tonight. So sorry about that. So this pink and gold paper on the inside. And then there's three signatures. Each signature starts with this piano music, which is from Hannon. A Hannon's piano exercises and then a little tuck spot and a pink journaling card I made I had to make everything tiny oh, hold on the cat scratched my poor little son's face and not too bad just a little nick they like to put their faces right up to the kitty and the kitty bats at them anyway so um, I put a lot of washi for embellishment in this journal because um, it doesn't add to the bulk. So the coffee, it's coffee dyed paper and then pocket pages. And as you can see right there, I didn't put anything in the pockets. Otherwise, um, there'd be no room for you to put anything in the pockets, but they're fairly deep. So there's plenty of room for photos or receipts or whatever. And then this ledger paper. I put trust your crazy ideas and then hopeful memory, imagine adventure friends, kind of like a little prompt. And you could write something here about that if you wanted to. Some black lace there, a little, um, this is from a coloring book page that I did and put on there. Here's another pocket page, but it's birds on this side and clouds on that side. Some pink washi there. Here's a little prompt. It says question. Here's another pocket page. So when I say pocket page, they all open like this. I'm not gonna open every one or it'll be a long video, but they all open like that. Here's a little teeny bird sticker down there and a tag clipped on there, another pocket page. And this side is a coloring book page. So if you're waiting at a doctor's appointment or something and this is in your purse, you could doodle on there or color it if you wanted to. A little polka dot washi down the side there. Here's the middle of the first signature and some ribbon and a puffy music note sticker there. Another pocket page here and then here's a little stamp a glitter triangle another pocket page with inspirational quotes on this side pink floral there there's another stamp here's some washi it says life is good and another pocket page and a little floral puffy sticker in that corner this is a really cool distressed um, pocket I I think my husband made that actually when he was playing with my distress inks but I thought it went well in here another pocket page some emoji smiley face washi here's lucky is a state of mind and that's the end of the first signature so now the second signature starts 
And there's a little sticker there and a stamp that says Fun Times, another pocket page, some more washi, another pocket page, some ribbon here, and then another little journaling card that I made. I just took some larger Project Life cards, cut it down, and inked the edges and sewed on it to make a mini journaling card. Here's another pocket page, and this is a semi, like a semi-gloss um, from a book on gardening. And then the other side is this pretty scrapbook paper. Here is a little heart sticker there. It says laugh. Here's another pocket page with another coloring side. Little butterfly page flag there. Middle of that signature, washi, another pocket page. Tonight has been a uh, fight about everything night for my boys. <laughs> So here's a little bow, and this is from Junk That Treasures on Etsy. It's a little cute white bow that she sent me, and um, she has these in her shop. They're perfect. They're, I mean, they're gorgeous. And what I did is just sprayed a teeny bit of glimmer mist on it and a slight light pink to kind of match with the pink theme of this book. And <laughs> I guess I need to glue that down just slightly better. A little blue page flag and a hidden pocket page there. Here's a little tab, another pocket page. There's a little cherry embellishment, some washi, another pocket page, a stamp that says, here's the story. And then this glittery owl sticker. And I added this Tim Holtz Chronicles to it. End of that signature, last signature. I should get through it quick before my boys have another meltdown. I thought things were quiet and nope. Well, these pages are deciding to stick. There we go. So um, here's a little glittered doily heart. Some washi, so many reasons to be happy. Another pocket page. And then this is part of a square doily from Junk That Treasures. And I coffee dyed it, cut off a corner and stitched it, and put a teeny little journaling card in there. I really love the look of that. Some glitter washi, another pocket page. A little bow that is a Tim Holtz uh, punch and I just added a rhinestone and then here's some ribbon a little piece of paper stuck to it and it's a little glitter ribbon that I thought matched really well and then here's another pocket page I'll put a little I'll fix that and then a little mason jar clipped on there another pocket page coloring little purple flower middle of the signature and then this is a tuck spot another coloring pocket page another pocket page here's a tag another pocket page <laughs> a little raspberry that says inspire a little yellow bird another pocket page like I said there's 24 of them this one says photo here's a pink bow some music Paper, my cart, and then in the back, I sewed around this little mini glassine bag that I got from Junk That Treasures, and then I put this little tag in there and added a music note. And I thought that um, whoever buys this could put maybe their info, uh, phone number, or name, or whatever, something in there. So I hope that you love this journal, and it's another spin on the mini 4x4 wrap around. I'm really loving using up my scraps um, making these. They're so much fun to make. So I hope that you enjoyed this little treasure and it will be in my Etsy store. So just click the link below and there you have it.